Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Today we will be talking about systematic mapping study on the machine learning life cycle. Machine learning is becoming ambiguous in many areas. It is multidisciplinary and there are so many processes and technologies. And the pipeline to use machine learning is longer and more complicated than one might expect. Um, the machine learning life cycle is different from the traditional software development life cycle. For example, uh, the software are built based on the requirements and it won't fail once deployed as long as the requirements are not changed. But in machine learning, a model is built based on the data sites. If the underlying characteristics of the data are changed, the model may not give the right result anymore. Um, there are also many other problems of machine learning life cycle like um, how to conduct the versioning control to ensure the model reproducibility. Um, moreover, there's um, already a considerable amount of research on the new machine learning algorithms, but the research of the issues of machine learning life cycle management is sparse. So take all of this into account. We decided to conduct a systematic mapping study to gain insight into this current research status. The process we apply for the systematic mapping study is shown in this figure. It consists of five steps. First, we define the research questions as what research exists in the field of AI model lifecycle management. Um, and next step is to define the search strings on the data site. Uh, we define the related keywords first. The keywords are grouped into two sides. On the one hand is about AI and on the other hand is about lifecycle management. Uh, the keywords related to lifecycle management are mainly grouped into six subsets. Uh, three stages of the machine learning life cycle, uh, technical debt, and other keywords related, for example, uh, related to standards. Then we apply selection on the title and abstract. These two steps were undertaken by two authors in parallel. After that, the first author goes through the content. Um, and then we conducted snowballing, which is to browse the reference list of the selected paper. In the end, we obtain 405 papers. As for the keywording, we read all the articles and summarize the keywords of each article. All articles are divided into five main research topics and 31 subtopics. The main topic includes risk management, model management, data management, production, and lifecycle management from a holistic perspective. Um, this table represents the main topic, which is, uh, which is in a row highlighted in gray and the corresponding subtopics and the distribution of the papers among them. Uh, the bar indicates the frequency of publications. Uh, risk management and model management count for the largest proportion, each of which is about 35%. Production is addressed in 59 articles and lifecycle management in 46 and data management related articles are the sparsest, which uh, which is only uh, 16 articles, counting for 4.8%. Uh, the top five countries are United States, uh, Germany, the United Kingdom, China, and Canada, while each of other countries counted for less than 3%. 270 different companies, universities, or organizations have published research, to uh, research about this topic. Uh, top eight of the university or companies produced more than five publications. Uh, 65.4 uh, of all publications are conference papers, 17.5 are journal articles, 14.6 are informative and other publications. Solution paper were by far the most common research type. This means that most, work, most works focus on proposing a, a novel solution technique with a proof of concept consisting of a small example. Uh, evaluation research following with 19%. These papers investigate a problem or the implementation of technique in practice. Uh, as it can be seen in the last table on the left hand side, most of the research were published by IEEE and ACM, together counting for about half of the total. Uh, as shown on the table on the right hand side, uh, SIGMOD, SNPs, and AIES published more than 10 papers. Um, with the passage of time, the numbers of studies on the life cycle management of machine learning model has increased, especially from 2016 to 2019. The number of publications per year were twice than that of the previous year. 
the majority of paper collected in this study is about particular stage of the machine learning model lifecycle management. However, we argue that it is also very important to look into the lifecycle of machine learning model from a holistic perspective. Um, there are only 46 papers so far. Um, on the other hand, there are too many problems to be solved in each particular stage. Our study also showed that some subcategories have been overlooked by the research community, for example, um, data traceability or uh, quality assessments. In terms of research type, um, a considerable proportion of publications are solution paper. The nature of this problem related to the lifecycle management of AI project is mostly related to how to manage AI project in practice in a real setting. Thus, we argue that more evaluation paper are necessary for this topic. Uh, opinion and experience publications were the least found research tabs. This is expected, as academic venue uh, tend to be strict with these types of works that are subject to other bias. However, um, there are no standards um, the AI lifecycle management and engineers are figuring out how to apply it in practice. Hence, we argue that opinion and experience papers are also very important to the community of AI engineers. Um, any question? Welcome backstage. I'm here with Louis Kutz. And uh, I haven't seen that many questions in the chat yet, please keep writing. Uh, so I have a question about this. You have surveyed a, a, a lot of papers in your, your mapping study here. So what, what was the most surprising result of your survey here of, of the literature? Yeah, I think the most surprising thing I've seen uh, while uh, in the results of this paper was the fact that we have a lot of papers that focus on a particular uh, part of the life cycle but we don't have many papers that are focusing on the whole life cycle since the beginning of the project till uh, the retirement and this is something that we haven't addressed yet but uh, i think the industry uh, actually needs um, uh, some insights on that how to actually set up the whole thing hmm. and so far the, most of the research we found only focus on a particular part of it and not doesn't show much on how to glue all the pieces together hmm. Given, given you found quite a few instances, was, were there any, any variation? Were there any different types of, of life cycles, different types of projects? Um, not really. I think uh, most, although the Chris PM is like almost uh, 20 years old, I think most of the life cycles uh, we found are um, more or less a, some sort of variation of this initial methodology. So I, I think we do, we don't have much uh, anything new there. Of course, we have like new steps like monitoring, which was not something that important 20 years ago, and now it's uh, we see that it's quite relevant and a good thing that we need to address. Um, and but I'd say most of the things are uh, very similar to Chris PM. Hmm. So uh, are there any any additional uh, crucial stages of the of the machine learning steps that not appear in in traditional uh, software engineering projects yeah so um, to, to clarify the main contribution of these um, of this paper was you know, some sort of a systematic uh, mapping study of all these different papers but we didn't delve into trying to understand what are the key stages because that would require actually that we would uh, um, make a, a, a literature review of all yeah. these papers. But sure. we have another work in which we were doing a case study, and we were actually trying to see if the the, the different uh, stages in the life cycle actually match the things that the industry needs. And okay, so there is there is space for more future work. We'll see. 